Welcome on. In this video, we are showing how to use solar cell in MATLAB. We know that solar energy is a type of renewable energy resources which does not harm the environment. These solar cells convert the energy from sunlight into electricity. These solar cells are used in different applications like household and in irrigation purpose. Then we are showing how to use these solar cells in MATLAB. For the design of solar cells, first we require some output power requirement, voltage and current requirement. Then we select an appropriate module. In this case, Coursera Solar KD 135GX LP is chosen. Then find the voltage at a maximum power point and the current at a maximum power point of this module. And then we calculate the number of strings in series and the number of strings in parallel. In this case, our voltage requirement is 160 volt. Then we obtain the number of series connected module. That is, for obtaining 160 volt, we connect 9 modules in series. And also we obtain the required current. In this case, the required current is 30 ampere. For obtaining that 30 ampere current, we connect the four series, four modules in parallel. So we obtain the corresponding current and voltage. Also, the maximum power is 135. So by connecting the eight strings in series and five strings in sorry, four strings in parallel, we obtain the required 4.8 kilowatt power. This is the overall design of solar cell. To draw the circuit in MATLAB and simulate it. For that, first we add all the required components to the MATLAB. First, I am choosing the PVRI. In this case, I represent the irradiation level. That is, uh, the irradiation level is in watt per meter square. In the case of a solar panel, we require the energy as a light energy. Though uh, the following of this light energy is defined as a radiation. That is, it is represented in watt per meter square. That is, T is a normal temperature. That is, uh, 25 degrees Celsius. In this, uh, we add the normal irradiation as 1000 watt per meter square. Then add the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. This one power and the voltage requirement we can calculate the resistance. By adding all the component, you can give the value of each module. First, we choose the PVRI. 